Ottawa has ordered all remaining Libyan diplomats out of Canada, effectively shutting down the Libyan embassy. The battle for Libya's future continues to rage six months after it began, and a decision is looming over how much longer Canada should be involved. Julie Van Dusen reports. Libyan state television showed gruesome images claiming that NATO bombs had killed 85 people, including dozens of civilians. NATO insists it targeted military infrastructure. We had very clear intelligence demonstrating that this was clearly uh, a military target. Whatever happened, Libyans can count on one thing, more bloodshed. In Canada, Muammar Gaddafi has fewer eyes and ears on Canadian soil. Ottawa has kicked out the remaining diplomats who work here at the embassy and the nearby consulate, all to delegitimize Gaddafi's regime. Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird started expelling Libyan diplomats in May. He then travelled to meet with rebels, members of the National Transitional Council. We think that uh, the National Transitional Council represents the best hope for the future of Libya. Canada has done a great job for the uh, new Libya. This Libyan man who lives in Canada has been a key organiser for dozens of protests in Ottawa. He urges the government to replace Gaddafi's diplomats with members of the National Transitional Council, as the British government did today. I feel safe. I would be able to walk in the embassy and say anything I want. Before, even whatever you, you're, you cannot even voice your opinion. You have to say what they want to hear. Canada is part of the ongoing NATO mission, participating in bombing raids. The NDP says it's time to withdraw. This should be the last extension. Uh, this will bring the military effort to six months and a half. And uh, if we haven't progressed that far, we'll need to uh, sit down and, and look at other options. Salah Doe predicts Gaddafi's terror tactics would escalate. If the NATO, for example, pulls out, God forbid, he will wipe out the Libyan population. The Canadian government declared the remaining diplomats persona non grata and gave them five days to get out of the country. But at least one has claimed refugee status in order to avoid being sent back to Libya. Julie Van Dusen, CBC News, Ottawa.